ready to be a superhero. Be Welcome careful. back, everyone. Let's say spin drop your pants. So we are fairly close to pretty much 100% of the game. Oh, she was aside. She was aside. We walk 100% of the game. I'm not gonna worry about achievements. I'm gonna play nice and not put in tons of effort to pick up things through sequence breaking this time. Just so the sake of not accidentally wasting time in trying to do so. If I can successfully sequence break, then I will, will most certainly do so. <laughs> nice physics. I'll end up plankton the door. Wonderful. What do you do? I don't really know what the purpose of this area is, actually. Ooh, a oh. I don't want to be over here. I want to be over there. Because after careful. this, there's only long. one more page to get in the sun, I think. If he hugs you, he'll never let go. Aha! A page! Like that. It. It's just like Not a page? It's made of my and just don't worry about Great. Okay. Ooh, a Good progress. Must resist. The most just depends on where the page is in the level. Angry candy alert. How could I can get it? That was nice. Just seeing my face on that. Got it. Uh oh. I have super. I could get right up on top of you, that. Never let go. And just make sure there's not any co-op stuff or anything over on this side. Is there? Stay away from my mouth. Doesn't look like it. Get right through this thing for some reason. Angry candy alert. Okay. Oh. Whatever this button so does, we'll find out. So oh, let's just hit the other button quickly enough. Sure, I guess. So they also have the pure mode, so let's see how it goes. Do that. <laughs> the wall doesn't work very well. It's fairly easily circumnavigated. I remember this part being something I tried to be all clever about, but couldn't be. No, it doesn't matter. I need to get further. I need to get any further. It's just like I remember it in here. And Probably that's because it's made done. of my memory. Go away, Pat. You've outlived your usefulness. A jellyfish okay. is neither jelly nor a And fish. how many levels do you even have left now, too? See on the other side. I will actually finish the last I'm level. So not just to ready. save the game, but because I imagine that'll actually show us the real ending. Alright, so two more pages again? Last One page, look at that. Two pages on the last level it was. Oh, it probably will not take us very so I have a good so track terrifying. record of finishing most of these fairly quickly, it's feeling like. I think... I got a nice calibration, I feel like, for... How to... Go through the levels quickly while still not missing pages. At least operating on the assumption that none of the pages are very well hidden. I see a page right there. Oh. I can't walk around on this guy. No, I absolutely can. There's not much point to that now, is there? Angry candy oh yeah, this one actually I don't think I could get around this one. Wait. Uh I see. Can I stand that again? Can you, can you ever turn? No? The Lego Super. Oh. There, that's surprisingly difficult wall to get around. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Anyways, he just right there. So, no more worrying about doing anything super fancy anywhere. 
from even getting through a level. Let's get this all over. Second or third last page. Excuse me. Sorry, where are you? Such a mess in here. I would have straightened up if I'd known you were coming. Don't know where you appeared. Hooray! Collect that, and we're one page closer. Indeed, one page closer. And only two left. Probably now. because we'll it's actually made complete of my the last memories. level. Otherwise, you have everything, I believe. Wonderful. On the other side. I'm super ready. And I guess we'll just expect to finish up the game this episode then. Which will mean, I think, having to be a superhero. like three be episodes, it won't last long. No, I think two episodes this week. If I don't Aha, leave in the other rabbit. episodes. Looks like I'm not in Texas anymore. I don't really feel like I have time to try to record anything else today. So I'll just make the decision whether or not to leave those other ones in just to kind of half content for this week. Or whether or not that's content worth having is something that can be debated, I guess. Okay. Uh oh, a heart hugger! If he hugs you, he'll never let go. Ah, my superhero ness is depleted. It refills fairly quickly, but I could just be a, he a hero right now. I need a hero. Behold that hero is me. Sheldon Plankton, <laughs> mastermind of evil. I could just do this. How are you? Plankton is demonstrating to me. He's giving SpongeBob inspiration. That's SpongeBob. No, you can do it. Oops. To be a superhero, but be careful, it won't last long. Oh, water flu. I even get a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Get ready for Precisely a supercharge. charge. Boom. All right, Dumb, anyone? Wait a, a minute, bunch of stuff I don't actually need gum. to do. <laughs> so, still fairly certain I don't need to do that. This is the time There we go. Why did I Anything you up to be so here that would so suggest having suggest any reason to actually have another player join? By that I mean, are there any pages? I'd like to find a page. I do actually this time need, com need to complete the level anyways, though, so it's not like it really saves me time if I find a page sooner. It just means that I know that I've gotten everything. Popsicle, like, for instance, yay! there's probably not anything up here. This doesn't look like there's a, a place where there would be, Why did I imagine you to be so a page. And so terrifying. There might be a key up here. Nope. There might have been a page I got before, actually. I'm ready to be a superhero. But be careful. You are a superhero. Oh, uh, that looks like a hero th or a top thing on the right here, actually. Doesn't it? Popsicle, yay! What's your deal? Uh oh. Pat. Hmm. Oh, looks like that time Maybe is over. Even be her as you do it. Wonderful. And hey! Collect that and we are one page close. Thank you, Patty. Reality res oh, wrong one. Keep pressing the wrong one. And that doesn't work if I press it again with the right controller. Oh well. Okay, so that's all the pages done. So all we have to do now is just finish the level. Good show. This is the part right here where we suddenly, for some reason, decide we need to get out of SpongeBob's head. I don't know why. There's no explanation given. Some floors are very weak and will break if touched. And by that I mean if you use the right character. Yeah, so then we just start this segment. For some reason. We suddenly have to get a SpongeBob's head. No one says why. So we just have an area that suddenly looks different than the others.
And why not? You have to wake up SpongeBob by finding SpongeBob. It's not really explain why SpongeBob the sleeping SpongeBob goes away, but whatever. They also say that SpongeBob is sleeping, which I don't feel like ever got established. Like when they say they want to go into SpongeBob's head, they just said they went into SpongeBob's head. That was the end of things. Whereas here, they're suddenly operating on the assumption that SpongeBob's asleep for some reason. There's something I'm missing. I feel like. Here we go. I'm ready to be a superhero, but be careful. Another bonus. I'm guessing. There we go. Everything whips around violently. No, no. Aha! Oh, come on. That perception is difficult in this game. What's that shadow on Spongebob's back? There's something going on on his back graphically that should not be happening. Looks like it's a shadow. Whatever the case, that's not where you need to be. And... Second like last one, I think. The next one up here is the last one. Must resist free hugs. Almost there. There's so much stuff here. That there's just, just no reason to interact with. There's a lot of stuff like that in this game as a whole. So if you have no real need to actually acknowledge. For any practical reason. Other than, I guess, getting coins for upgrades. Anyways, let's be done with this. Here we are. Oh, yeah! Hooray! Hooray! Actual ending! Yes! Yeah! Please, let me talk to him. After all, he is me. I guess all I really want to say to you right now, Mr. Me. Yeah, turn the volume so I can actually hear it. Please wake up! Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Well done, heroes. You found the last page. Where was it? Turns out it was in my head the whole time. My porous friend, your mind is a crazy place. I'd better take all these pages into another dimension for safekeeping. You collected every last page. For that, I think you deserve a little something extra. Captain's time no. machine! With this, you can relive any part of this amazing day. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Bubbles! But that's not all! Oh, would you look at the time! I'm late. I better get going. We'll watch you break dance till the end of time, Bubbles! Yeah, and by the way, when is that? This is getting kind of boring. Interdimensional dance! Party! Uh huh, so that was a reward, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they still explain the level select, which you already had access to anyway, so I don't see the point, but. <laughs> I was starting to get suspicious that they were just gonna change only the one line about not having all the pages and everything else being the same. But no, they actually gave you more. They also just let you see him dance. And also remove most of his clothing if that's. Also, something that counts. Regardless, that was an adventure, maybe? So, this game turned out to be pretty much exactly what I heard it was, which is saying something by my standards, because usually I actually enjoy a game. Well, it's, it won't be great that I didn't enjoy this game, but it was just kind of flat for me, nothing else. The. I think the superhero mechanic is a little. I don't know how it would need to be tweaked, but I'm not sure how I feel about it, since the issue for me is that it makes you wish I could just use Superhero all the time. In part, though, because it lets me see break things and all that and just ignore enemies. So I feel like maybe it should be something you have to earn more? That it should probably be less useful for platforming, as weird as that sounds. But not having really good platforming ability and then that suddenly dropping to 
not good platforming ability is actually really annoying. Whereas in the context of fighting, it doesn't feel like as big of a deal. Largely because there are lots of jumps and whatnot you can't make if you're not a superhero. Whereas if you are, are or not superhero, you can still always fight everything. I guess that's the big issue for me. Otherwise though, this game had issues. I think this is the only SpongeBob game I've found so far that fails so strong as a licensed game, I feel. I mean, there are plenty of SpongeBob games that just aren't very funny games to play, or very great games at least, even if I can get myself to play them. But this game, it didn't really even feel like a SpongeBob game for the most part, other than the fact that you just are playing as characters that look and sound like the SpongeBob characters. But otherwise, the environments, you just have backgrounds that are related to SpongeBob. And even then, like, I don't know what the idea behind the war zone is, unless that actually is related to the film somehow. The way this is tied to the film, for that matter, is weird, because it's not the film, but it has characters and concepts from the film. It looks like it's just trying to market itself as being related to the film so it can sell more. At which point, can you not just make something that's actually based off the film? Oh well, I've seen another game do something kind of like that that actually fairly worked, except... That was in part because it actually still had the universe there for you to actually interact with and whatnot. That was actually the Cars video game. A lot of people liked what that did. It was actually a sequel to the film. But whatever the case, the platform in this game was solid. It's just that they didn't feel like there's enough to it. It just went on longer than it than really felt worthwhile. It was really plain platform and nothing much else. I think a big part of what bugged me about it was that you can just ignore so much stuff, especially when I was playing through the game later, trying to collect everything. I was ignoring the vast majority of everything. In fact, I started ignoring the vast majority of everything by the time I even completed the game the first time. Because there, there was no reason to pick up any of the, the coins for anything. You don't get anything for defeating any enemies almost ever in general. Do you even get coins for that? I don't think you do, if I remember right. But the coins you get, there's not much point to that either, and then beyond that, there's nothing really else to do. You just platform through the level. And there's some stuff to look for, but the thing is, most of those aren't really things you have to look for, they're just things that you have to have another player for. Or you need to select the right character, which would take forever. But all the characters play exactly the same anyways, which is... I get that it's supposed to make the characters balanced so you don't have to worry about whoever caring so much about playing as who, which character, but it's, it makes it feel like there's no real point to play as different characters. Especially with them upgrading differently, at which point there's no real point to not just play as the one same character the whole time. Of course, there was the one difference between different characters, and that was their burn room technician. There is how the different characters have different special attacks when they're in their superhero mode. They replaces the Blaster Burger. Why is he called Blaster Burger instead of Krabby Patty, by the way? I don't think that's a reference to the film, probably. But SpongeBob, for instance, just had his overpowered, spammable bubble attack, and everyone else had something else that actually was not spammable. I just ended up in the end making the characters unbalanced anyways. SpongeBob was definitely the best character. I don't know, I don't think I missed much by not being familiar with the film, by not having watched it or anything like that. I know Bubbles is from the film, and that, as far as I can tell, is basically all of it. I think the plot is actually related to the film too, but it's not, this still doesn't seem to literally be the film, it's kind of odd, but oh well. But the main thing is I just wish you actually interacted with Spongebob related environments, as opposed to just going through generic platform environments that have Spongebob backdrops. Not even very good ones either, because you keep seeing the same locations over and over. So, I guess the main thing, as far as a licensed game goes, I usually think of licensed games as being on two quality scales. Whether or not it's good as a game, whether or not it's worthwhile playing even if you don't have familiarity with the source media, basically, or whether it's good as a licensed game, whether it really gives you what you're looking for as a game related to that particular material. A game that's decent just as a game would be fun to play generally, in some capacity. 
whether or not you're familiar with the source material, but a game that's go as a licensed game, for instance, will let you interact a bit with the world, let you actually see the characters doing, I don't know, whatever, but make it feel like you got to enjoy something related to that actual piece of media. This game, I don't really feel like I got much out of that, because I just had nominally SpongeBob characters. Just kind of platforming and nothing else. Which reminds me of the really, really old licensed games you go see around the year 2000, actually. But we've moved on from that. We've, <laughs> we can make better things now. You have other SpongeBob games, of course, like the SpongeBob movie or Mallory Game on, they did a much better job. But even beyond that, you have plenty of other SpongeBob games that did fine as licensed games. Bridge of the Flying Dutchman, I don't think it was that great as a game, but it was great as a li licensed game. You still got to do a bunch of stuff in the, in the SpongeBob universe and go to different places, interact with different characters, and all that. Even if I don't think it was fun to play in the first place. But, oh well. I don't know if there's much more to say than that, because there's not much to the game. It's actually a really, really bare-bones game. I mean, I'm surprised that there were apparently this many people that worked on it. I'm surprised the credits are this long. Because it's a pretty short game, but there's not much you do in it. You've seen pretty much everything as soon as you've gone through, I guess, the first five levels. And the only reason for that is because you don't see any bosses until the fifth level. Beyond that, everything is just the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> Some games don't usually feel like as much of a cash grab as this one, but this one certainly did. I don't know if there have been any actual full-on SpongeBob games since this one. If there are happy any, I probably can't play them because they're probably on a system I don't have, but... I don't know, I'll just go back to some older ones. Is that French? Okay, why is that French? Like, everything seems so white, and then one just has a name in French. There, are, I didn't realize there are that many songs in this game. Oh! <laughs> you can see that on the screen, too. The screen darkening, because I had not pressed anything in such a long time. But that's not the game's fault, it's just a long... Surprisingly long credit screen. Script, oh, how much... <laughs> oh, <laughs> if that's a script, <laughs> nobody worked on the script, no. Mr. Urberson over here got two headers all to himself, script and writer. I'm hoping we didn't accidentally, by we I mean me, I guess, didn't accidentally just let the credits loop. Actors! Oh hey, this game actually credited the actors. Spongebob games don't always credit the actors, it's weird, I don't know why. I've still never known how to pronounce the last name of Patrick's voice actor. Nobody has ever been able to figure it out as far as I can tell. There's probably some person on this earth that knows. Maybe Bill himself knows. But, like, I've even found threads on forums online trying to figure out how to pronounce his name. Fagerbach? Fagerbacky? Fagerbach? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Bink Video? What do you mean Bink Video? The game's... the... That's weird, because I'm pretty sure... I don't remember this game using Bink Video. I'm pretty sure the cutscenes in this game are actually WMVs, like Windows Movie Maker files. <laughs> I took a look at it once a long time ago. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's all. Is it just gonna loop now? Nope. Okay. Oh, well, that was fun or something. We, of course, didn't truly 100% the game in the capacity of getting all the achievements, but whatever. It's not like you get anything for that. You don't even get a breakdancing dolphin for it. I missed out on quite a few, but eh. I never upgraded my health. That's just... Uh, grindy, that one. That one, I mean, it's a nice challenge, I guess, but it doesn't really feel like it would be rewarding because you're just running through a level, ignoring all the enemies. That's just going through a particular level without getting hit by a particular enemy. I did! I guess I have to be the one playing as passion for that to work, which is a little dumb, but whatever. This one, I get. Oh, I guess my. Uh, so I guess I have to revive a bunch of allies in this one, and then somebody has to revive me. I guess that these are all in effect for player one, at least for the person that's gaining the achievement. So that's why when this one happened, it happened to player two, so I didn't get it. But if player two was signed in, I think player two would have gotten that achievement. Whatever. Anyways, see you everyone. This odd little something game and we'll move on to something else something else that is probably spongebob and after that who knows but
I don't even know what the next thing we're going to play is. I have ideas. Anyways, bye everyone.